Hey beautiful people, welcome to my channel in the Notero 1122. Alright Leo, let's see what we got going on for us, for you guys that are celebrating today. Happy birthday. I greatly appreciate you guys being here. Alright, let's see what we got going on. Keep in mind that this is going to be a general message. It will not resonate with everyone. Oh my God. <laughs> I just thought about something. Okay, that makes total freaking sense. Alright, so... Um, yeah okay so it's not going to resonate with everyone if you like um check your signs uh when they're posted the other signs also if you like to book with me um look in the description box for the link to my website i'm sorry you guys i just figured out why uh something is going the way that it's going so yeah total makes total sense all right so anyway leo you could be bored and discontent okay uh <laughs> For some of you, hopefully it's not in a connection. Well, it might be. Okay, so let's see. All right, so let's see. All right, so Leo, we got to stand your ground. All right, mind your business, stay in your lane, work on whatever it is that you're working on. Um, keep pushing. I don't know why I am here. She keeps on passing me by. Da -da 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 -da. Oh my God, um, and that's all that that the only part of that song is I'm hearing. Okay, maybe somebody's rocking that in the in the in the car or something. I don't know. Anyway, Leo, uh, you might not see something come into fruition the way you want it to here, or maybe you're in a position here where it's like, yeah, I'm kind of bored now. I'm ready to start something new or make a move here whatever you're doing is telling you to stand your ground keep doing what you're doing or keep pursuing whatever it is that you're pursuing here in a positive way because your wishes are being fulfilled also leo this is uh the third time that i'm doing our reading here a uh, lot of distractions here so we got a lot of good things coming in however there are uh, some things here that we need to be cautious of. We need to make some wise decisions here because uh, we had that Choose Wisely card come out. I mentioned it while I was shuffling the deck and it literally fell out here. So there are some decisions that we got to make here uh, that is going to determine the outcome of a situation. Also, there is something here that uh, may be an opportunity that may not be as good, as, good for you as uh, you might hope. And it's telling you to wait before you hop into this uh, thing here because it's kind of like an impulsive decision and the suffering in silence card, that's what I was clarifying. And someone was being impulsive and was getting ready to jump into something. But your other cards was firm foundation. Uh, what was it? Fertility and prosperity begins. But because someone here wasn't seeing that, Oh, and then the overall energy was a waiting game. So it's like you planted some seeds. You're not seeing something come to fruition. And you're almost ready to make an impulsive move to do something that is really going to disrupt everything else. So it's literally going to put it on pause. So if there is something that you were thinking about just like off the quim, you know what, I'm going to do this. Don't. Okay. Be patient. Keep doing what you're doing. Just remember you're planting seeds. Okay. So... If you plant the seeds, you stop digging it back up and see, oh, are you growing yet? Are you growing yet? Cover it and keep it covered. You understand with your progress, whatever it is you're supposed to be doing to make it flourish and also pray over your, your situation, no matter what it is, okay? Because we have wishes fulfillment here, victory and success, and your spiritual strength is uh, literally is what's binding this glue together to bring this firm foundation in. All right, so let's see. Give me more for Leo, please, and thank you. Can I get two more? All right, memories of love. Okay, so there's a situation that you're definitely letting go of. All right, and you might be bored and discontent right now, especially if you're, you know, doing things by yourself, sweetheart. But I'm going to put it to you like this. If you are on the rise for a level of elevation here, most likely you are pushing that elevator by yourself. All right, or going up that ladder by yourself until you get to the next level. Then there's going to be some people on your way, and then that may kind of fall away, or you decide to leave, and same thing again, okay? So th things are shifting and changing. 
So yeah, you may have felt like there was somebody here that you were actually in harmony with. Maybe you were at one time. Maybe this was good for a minute, but you know, it's time to let this go and put this thing to rest. You got work to do. All right, so also we have the light here, having hope and faith that things are going to work out for you. There also might be some new ideas that you're coming across here. This is definitely telling you to take your emotions out this situation, see it for what it is, not for what it is, what you want it to be. Throw your hands up, let it go, okay? Fought tooth and nail to keep something going on, and you're not gaining anything from it, but you can go down here where this Ace of Wands is and flourish. So... Lots of choices being made here or options. Or you can continue where you are and continue doing what you're doing here that's not working, okay? So, or should I say give up? Because while you're working, something is working for you, but there's obstacles in the way. Absolutely. Why? Because apparently it's worth having. So, anything worth having is worth fighting for. So, you are going to go through obstacles and challenges um, you are going to face a lot of adversity for whatever reason. That's just the way things are. To whom much is given, much is required. All right, so let's see. Give me more for absolutely. Look at this. Love begins. All right, so somebody had to let somebody go that was not for them so you can get what is, okay? Someone that's going to pour into your cup equally, you know? Woo-wee, and whoever this is, that you are leaving behind, they might not like it, but oh well, that's their problem. All right. Also, whatever it is that you're learning, you're growing, you're building, what's coming together for you, even if it's, you know, whatever you're working on here. All right. This could be a business or something like that. Whatever it is, you got somebody here that's going to be disappointed. All right. But oh well, you did the sacrifice, you did the work. You know what I'm saying? You stood your ground. You did what you're supposed to do. And you reaping the rewards. Absolutely. You know, so my thing is avert your attention to what, you know, to move forward. Damn, I cannot make this up. Okay, so some of you have new partners coming in. This could be a love and business, whatever. All right, a lot of forward movement here. I can't make it up. There's a cycle that was supposed to close out here. And someone is stressing over this situation, but it wasn't for you. All right, you came to sit at this table for a minute, and now supper time is over. It's time for you to go get dessert now. Somebody trying to get second helpings right here. And sweetheart, there's a whole table sitting there just prepared just for you. You know what I'm saying? Look at this. You you were patient. Well, somebody need to be patient here because I see somebody trying to push through. But there was death. This was destined to happen. Okay. You never know what's going to come out of this situation over here. All right. You got new love coming in here. Partnerships coming in here. And accelerated motion. Okay. But you got to take your time. Because if you go the wrong way, if you're supposed to go right and you go left, you can muck everything up. Okay, so just be patient. Things are working out for you. And in the other reading here that I did for Leo earlier, uh, someone here was suffering in silence, sitting on the mountaintop like, you know what, I built this up to get this far. Or I spent this time in this relationship just for it to end here. Sweethearts, things come and go. You know what I'm saying? There's ebbs and flows to everything. You know what I mean? It is what it is. Sometimes people don't come into your life to stay. Sometimes there are lessons. Sometimes there are blessings. Sometimes they're both. You know what I mean? So there's that. And please know that, you know, you are that in somebody's life as well. We are all somebody's karma, you know, and we can't pick and choose how people show up. But we can pick and choose how long they stay if they come in and, you know, what access that they have, you know. So there's that. But we also have to be accountable for our, our actions here, too, you know, because, yeah, a lot of people like to uh, blame shift on the other person without taking accountability for their actions. Okay, so there's that. All right, so let's get more messages for Leo. Leo? Hell, I don't even think we need to get anything else, actually. Um, let's get some of these. All right, give me messages for Leo. Can I get two? One more. 
All right, inner work here. All right, the axe. Break up separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, and abandonment. Everything ain't meant to be for you, sweetheart. There's that, you know? All right, feel great first. Uh, feel the feeling of having a partner, healthy relationship. Raise your vibration will attract the same. So in other words, somebody needs to go ahead, cut this off, heal, focus on themselves, regroup, get their foundation solid first, do the inner work and heal all right and move on from this situation and open your hands and stop holding on to what is not for you and go grab what is okay so inner work says heal yourself first you will attract what you are oh my goodness choose a partner <laughs> oh my goodness choose partners that want to grow with you that's scary all right hold on mm -mm. Okay, so that was interesting. I don't even think that needs a clarification. Yo, that was cut and dry. Anything else here? I, I really don't think there needs to be anything said here. This was a quick reading, right? Mm -hmm. All right, let's see. Yeah, Leo, we need to, you know, kind of rethink some things here. You know, I'm just saying, someone here needs to go within and really think about the situation that they, they're going through and really look at it and say, is this serving you? Is this holding you back from success and manifesting? Mm -hmm. It might be. Is it good for you to cut this off? I think so. Should you just move on with your life? You should. You should. Look at this. Beautiful. You should. I'm just saying, I don't know. Yeah, because if you don't. <laughs> I'm just saying. All right, anything else here for Leo? All right, yes, honey. Like I said, look at this. We need to go on and move on. Lead us, on, lead us along. Look, I, I can't make it up. Rethink this connection here, sweetheart, because this is not what's happening for you. It's, it's really not. This is not healthy. This isn't good. No bueno. Whatever. Okay. Wait for your, your time. is coming. Okay. Because this ain't it. Literally. All right. Look at this. So you got to be careful what you uh, continue to put your energy into. Because if you don't let go of this and walk away from this, you are going to block your blessings. And that is for sure. For sure. All right, uh, pay attention to the energy that you're putting out there, sweetheart, because it will come back to you. No matter what it is, it will come back. So, Leo, that is for you or Crosswatcher. Um, damn, this is a crazy reading. But anywho, um, I think I'm going to go ahead and leave this here. I kind of want to check on money, though. Okay, sorry, I'm kind of all over the place. I got a few minutes today. Let's see. Give me messages. Video. All right, money coming in slowly, steady progress. Uh, money for work. In good time, long term. I'm reading upside down, so sorry. All right, so let's see. We have financial relief, being content. Yeah, see? All right, so, ooh, we. All right, let's see. All right, fear that money is evil. You're in the right direction here. All right, so somebody feels like somebody is corrupt. Oh, my God. Well, I'm going to put it to you like this. If you can prove it, and if it's your money, I would definitely prove it. So, I don't know about you, but I keep all receipts. Hmm. I have to. I have a business. So, there's that. So, yeah. Um... There's that. Some of you or someone here may actually be uh, leaving a job here. It's crazy because I did a Leo reading not too long ago and somebody's boss or somebody here was uh, hiding money and taking money from the employees here as well. So someone here may uh, think about moving on 
from a job here or whatever. Somebody also might be investing into cryptocurrency. All right, so someone is distracted and not completing their work. Oh, that's going to be a downfall. All right, so let's see. Give me messages here, please, and thank you. So, Leo, we got to stay on task. Whatever this situation, yeah, your job is at risk. Look at this. All right, Leo, that's another thing that came up in that other reading. I'm not sure I'm going to post it, but uh, someone here. Uh, ooh. Okay, so you have someone here that is kind of like, uh, that reading is a trip. Somebody's doing spell work uh, and recruited family members and all kind of stuff. I might go ahead and post it. Uh, but yeah, watching you online and all kind of stuff, just all kind of stuff, weirdo shit. And actually weirdo did come up or weird came up, uh, in the oracles as well. But, uh, in that reading, it did say something about your job was at risk. Uh, you have people watching you at work that are, uh, kind of alienating you for someone here and they're kind of, kind of, uh, singling you out. So, sweetheart, I'm putting it to you like this. Somebody there is trying to get you uh, to quit, okay? They don't want to fire you because they don't want to pay you unemployment or anything like that or any repercussions, but they're doing little things like um, one person will say, okay, well, yeah, you know, this looks great to me or whatever, you know, okay, we'll go ahead and approve the report. And then it gets sent to the person it's supposed to go to. That person says, no, there's something going on. It's not looking right. You fix it for that person. And then the other person comes back and says, no, I thought I told you to do blah, blah, blah. So it's all kind of miscommunication and it goes to a higher up. Okay. And they're trying to make you feel or look like you are incompetent. Okay. So you need to be careful with this because you got some people targeting you here. However, in that reading, um, this was actually happening because apparently there might be some things going on in that place that you already feel that are kind of, you know, kind of off. And you may feel that energy, what they're doing now, but now they kind of kicked it up a notch a bit here. OK, and unfortunately, somebody here could be a minority in the office. OK, I hate to say it, but that came up, too. And uh, yeah, some they're, they're trying to go hard for you. So. Um, you might want to start looking. The thing is, is that you were getting inklings about this before and you may have crossed, it may have crossed your mind to go ahead and leave this place, but because of a situation or because, you know, it's not time to go, you might have decided, well, you know, I'm going to just stick it out here, baby. Follow your first mind. Okay. You heard that little voice for a reason. Okay. So I'm just saying, and it's trying to come up soon here all right so just know that that's coming up and it's is here again your job is at risk and i wasn't using these uh when that came up okay so just know that that much is true uh the pro for somebody here the thing is is that you're being pushed out of that because there's something else that you may do on your own that's actually going to bring you money all right, so we have the money tree here, definitely. And I already said you guys are planting trees here, okay? So whatever you're planting now, keep watering it. It will grow, okay? Build it. They will come, all right? So good news is coming to you. And then manifesting money, reaching your goals, financial assistance, all right? And then we have your on the right path, all right? So, Leo, it looks really good as far as your finances are concerned. Like I said, it just looks like everything is just moving really, really slow, okay? And then also, to try to stay in high vibration here and uh, good energy here, too. It's another reason why I'm not getting ready to post that reading because absolutely not. Um, yeah, because we want to dead that energy um but anyway um yeah we want to kind of manifest the things that we want in our lives right now and stay in high, vib high vibration too because we are in mercury retrograde okay so it, it's grading i'm just saying so uh try to stay in positive energy or whatever and uh do what you need to do for yourself keep your eye on the prize stay focused on you and uh just know that people are going to do what they're going to do but you can uh, respond versus react, okay? All right, my love. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and just remember, a hit dog will holler, okay? So everything that pops off, sometimes people, you know, they get 
triggered and things like that and want to take it out on you, just, you know, have compassion for them and just remember that, you know, it ain't about you. That's a them problem, okay? All right, sweetheart. Y'all take care and happy birthday. Okay, bye.